So today is the big day, we're just about to check out of the hotel and go and get the keys for our new apartment. Hi everyone, so we are just at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. We have just got the keys to our apartment and just having some lunch quickly before we head into Ikea. So let me show you what we've got. So we're just having some jalapeno and cheese bagels, iced coffee. That's where we are, the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. And there is Ikea. two days in Ikea and my feet are killing. We've been in here for like four hours. Um, the only thing that's getting me through is that I know that you can get like a Mr Whippy the other end for 60 pence. Um, bargains of Malaysia but you totally wouldn't know it listening to the music. I'll show you guys I think we've got so far. Bearing in mind at least half of it wasn't in stock. So this is our shopping so far. Um, Tim's gone to find someone. There he is, my bag on. See, there's a bit of a colour scheme for our new apartment. So it's the day after our IKEA trip, and it was very long and stressful. Um, but I have started to make our apartment look more like home with the bits that we've bought and also with stuff that we've brought from home. So I'll show you guys around. Um, we're not gonna go outside onto the balcony because it's quite hot today. And bear in mind that it's still a work in progress, so not everything's finished. It might not all look perfect yet, um, but it's starting to feel a bit more like home. We are currently in the bedroom. So this is our bedroom, mine and Tim's, our master bedroom, picture of the family. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here we go, picture of the family. Here we all are by the bed. Exactly what you need. A dressing table. All ready for me to try and make myself look beautiful in the mornings. Got a little bit down the back here with our laundry basket. Our ensuite bathroom. Nice big sink there. Beautiful shower head as well. And those of you that know me know I'm pretty short, so we've had to buy a step ladder so I can get into the top of the wardrobe. So here we have our guest bathroom. Excuse the towels on the floor. We just had somebody in to come and fix the drains because they were pumping out a not very nice smell, but we are all fixed now. There's the bedroom. We have our guest bedroom. We have not dealt with this room yet. So yeah, a bit of a jump. But it will be nice by the time we have guests. So over here we have our kitchen. Yeah, I did do some laundry as well, which is why that is like it is. We've got our cooker, utility area out here. It's got the utility area. See there's the rest of my washing. Beautiful. And Tim had to fashion me a washing line out of paper bags, paper bags, carry bags, else we couldn't find one anywhere. And this is hanging here because I didn't have anywhere big enough to hang it. I think got some bits down here still that I need to sort out. We've got a living room area here. With all our millions of cushions. We've got on my coffee table, we've got a Hope City magazine, which I have already read through. And our outside furniture, so this is home. It's 
that's pretty much the whole house um yeah it's nice so i thought i would kind of give you guys a overview about what we've learned um through this process of getting an apartment um out here in lovely kl um so i would just say it's really important to get a good real estate agent we got an amazing lady uh, she was actually advised to us by a friend out here and she's been incredible i think it's so good to have someone on your side we've heard a lot about people who have been taken advantage of for being expats basically that you don't get the best deal that people just presume you've got a lot of money and um, one thing that people don't get told a lot is that actually you can negotiate the price i'm not saying go and barter like you're down at chinatown i would say put an offer in be respectful with it don't go too low uh, but if there's something you really want go for it it's not a problem i know that some agents may tell you that's not something you can do out here but actually it really is um it was strange to us because in the UK that's not something you do do that there are a few things which I would let your agent know about that you may want you may not want them that's fine but for us it was quite a big thing so in Malaysia they don't tend to have ovens in their kitchens so for us it was really important to have both a hob and an oven some don't have either some just have a hob also that in a lot of apartments they don't have running water in the kitchen or in the bathroom sinks but they do have them in the showers so you have to boil your kettle for your washing up and things like that so if that's something you want make sure you tell your agent um, the lady we've got if anybody is listening to this and um, moving out to KL I would happily give you her details she's been incredible she actually popped around today and brought cheesecake and pies she bought English pies because she thought we might miss England and that it would be something that would make us feel at home, which is so sweet. And cheesecake because she heard me talking about that I like cheesecake the other week. So I don't, I don't think that's normal from a real estate agent, but she's just incredible. So definitely like message me below if you are moving out and you want her details. That's totally not a problem at all. I would also say just be patient. Sometimes things out here take a bit longer than they do back home. And just be prepared for that. It's a bit more of a chilled out way of life. Um, although the roads are always busy and the malls are always busy. But um, <laughs> apart from that, everyone's super chilled. Things take a bit longer to get done. If you're aware of that and you're happy about that, then you'll be fine. We're really blessed in getting an amazing apartment. We got a bit of a deal on ours as well, which was really great. I would just say make sure you're around things that you wanna to get to or that you'll buy like an LRT station, a train station. If you're not buying a car, um, just be aware of how long it takes to get to different places from where you're gonna be based and enjoy yourself like it's an amazing city and everyone we've met is so friendly i would just say come with an open mind and you'll have an amazing time so yeah that's us moving um i'm sure we'll have loads more to tell you and lots of different things that we learn if you want to subscribe below that'll be amazing and you can follow our journey and see what we get up to we're actually going kayaking uh, later in the week and i'll hopefully get that up soon apologies that my videos have been a bit all over the place in timing wise um we currently don't have wi-fi in our apartment so i'm having to find coffee shops to upload my videos in as soon as the wi-fi comes in they'll be a lot better have a lovely day guys and i will speak to you soon bye